In this video, we are going to look at an issue that I was helping a developer with troubleshoot that involves stopping and starting or starting and stopping processes with PowerShell. And this is just a good note. So one of the things that I would recommend, because we're going to do a, a really quick test on this, is to open up PowerShell ISC and we're going to run a script that just demonstrate this, demonstrates this. So this developer was trying to stop a process that was uh, running. So this would be an application. In the demo, we're going to be using Notepad. And what happened was they ran the stop process, passed in the name and the application. Well, it did exactly that. It stopped the process of the application. Uh, as we'll see, though, uh, what he did not anticipate is that it stopped every process of the application, right? So what, I, what we can do here is we can create this while loop here, and we're going to start process three notepads, or you can do two. We're going to start sleep for two seconds. So we're going to pause. You'll notice the two notepads come up. The reason why is if you do just the, if you remove the start sleeps, it will happen so fast you won't see it. So you'll see the notepads pop up and then we're going to stop the process and we're going to stop that notepad process, right? Well, it's going to kill all notepads. And this was my point to the developer. And so it's a good little uh, loop that you can run and you can see this in action. And this is exactly the effect uh, that we would expect with the starting and stopping process. So keep that in mind, because if you have multiple instances of something, and this in this case this is not a service, this is a process. So for instance, if you were to do start service or stop service with Notepad, it wouldn't be able to recognize it because it's a process. But keep in mind, if you are running multiple instances of that, you don't want to be uh, stopping that because it's going to stop those, right? And so that's one of the things that I mentioned to this developer. And yes, if you want to start or stop a process, you can certainly use PowerShell uh, to do that as we see. Uh, just keep in mind that this is one of the things that can occur if you do stop the process and you only want to stop one instance. So let's say you have three notepads if you just want to close one of those, those notepads.